Hello everyone, my name is Adisha Nethgahasaral ML and this is Learn with Adisha on YouTube. So if you're new here, thanks for coming and please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. I work hard on everyone to make sure that you all have fun. Anyways, we are in through the video and Yes, what we're doing. Oh, wow, what was that clack? We are using Tiny Bob Schools today. Actually, we're using Tiny Bob. So, we've already explored the skeletal, we've already explored the cardiovascular and digestive system. So, which one should I explore? Mm. Let's see. The nervous system seems good. Ah, yes. The classic nervous system. The nervous system is made out of different things than everything else and controls all your actions around the body. It's made out of nerves. We do not get it, need to get into detail. Nervous system. There are so many systems in the human body. The nervous system controls your body and the communication within it. It is also linked to the five senses, sight, smell, taste, hearing, and touch. You experience the world through these five senses. I believe you all have heard about these five senses. Well, that's ear grading. Anyway, shall we do something? Let's release a mosquito. And it causes sensations of pain around here causing sensations of pain is not what <laughs> see when it's when anything stings you it sends nerve it sends signals electric signals into your brain telling it hurts can you make it stop and things like that happen but when we're running, it's tiring. So this happens. Your legs send signals to your brain telling they're tired, they're working. And your brain sends signals to your legs telling them, keep working. We're doing this for a reason. That's basically how it works. This, what is this? The spinal you notice that every single impulse here goes up the spinal cord. Even if it's very close to the brain. See? It goes up the spinal cord no matter what. See that? Did you see? That happens. Now when we're smelling, we'll go into that later. Let's test out the brain. The brain is the boss of your body. It controls basically everything you do. Thought, language, movement, senses, and memories are all inside the brain. You could say it's all in the mind. Explore different parts of the brain. Sure then, virtual experiment, if I don't know what you're doing. You can see here, this is the temporal lobe. It seems to control vocabulary, hearing, and feelings. What is the occipital control? Vision, parietal lobe, logic and senses. Seems like it does that. Logic, senses, and location seems like that. And the frontal lobe controls
it seems like it controls your circulatory system, your taste, your feelings, and whatever this is. We don't need to go into detail. But you can join on this website for a free trial, which is what I've done. And you can test this out for yourself. Cerebrum. Every time this happens, we get some numbers. Seems like it controls logic. Cerebellum controls actions around your body. And the brainstem controls your breathing. Your brainstem gets taken off. You do as well. What about your eyes? Seems like they're really important, but this is creepy. <laughs> Why is this happening though? Well, this is creepy. Huh. Let's investigate. So this is your eyebrow. Everyone knows it. This is your eyelash. These are these two are your eyelashes. This here is your cornea. That is your iris. That hole in there is a pu is your pupil. Yes, the pupil is a hole. Yes, if you thought it wasn't, that was fake. Very fake. That is a lens reversing every image you see. That is the sclera. Right there. Basically, the skin of your eye. Get touched on it, your eye gets taken out instantly. Oof. And this is your retina, where every single one of your images is processed. Everything you see is processed there. Not there, but it's sent to the brain as info right there. Let's try something out. The flashlight. Oh, it seems like as it gets closer and closer to the eye, the eye, the eye's pupil gets smaller. Why is this? That happens because of, can you see it? The iris. I risk makes sense. The closer the flashlight gets to the pupil, the bigger the iris will get. You can see it right there. Let's try out the ear. My personal favorite is violin. <laughs> We can see here, if we put the violin away like this, it gets, well, less loud. The farther away a sound is from us, well, the less we hear it. It's common sense. Now investigating, this is the ear. Makes sense, right? But there's more to it than it might seem. The auditory canal channels sound waves and sends them to the eardrum. The eardrum's vibrations get transmitted to the anvil and then the stira, then to the semicircular canals. With hairs, ugh, hairs not supposed to belong in your ear, but if it's really, really tiny and you can't see it anywhere, then that does belong in your ear. It really does. That's exactly what's in your cochlea. Cochlea, I guess. The semicircular canals, these are three semicircular canals. The amounts which are in your, well, head, of course. But in both ears, in total, there's six semicircular canals and there's two cochlea. Cochlea, cochlea, it depends. I don't even know the correct way to pronounce it, though. <laughs> now, we'll test out the glue. Now, you can see that the sound wave gets bigger and smaller. This is what gives you, well, the sense of hearing. Going to the nose. 
smell like cream. Mmm, that's delicious. It goes into the sense actually work their business and you know it's ice cream. But how do you know it's ice cream? Well, here it go. Well, the scent particles, small particles that you sent away, they go into your nasal cavity. Near your sinus is a nerve called the olfactory nerve, which knows exactly what these well, scent particles are. And they send data to your brain telling, oh, you can smell this. Like if this happens, you can smell flower. And it sends data to the brain that there's a flower, that there's a bunch of flowers. Craving for pizza and you smell pizza, this happens. Well, you smell the pizza and your brain tells the tongue's salivary gland to get ready and moisten up the tongue for eating. And it goes down into the hatch. Ooh. This is all for today. And we have explored everything that's in the essence of the nervous system. Thanks for watching, everyone. And bye-bye. See you in the next one.